What is up guys, Zach is back bringing you another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. Another little cup battle, this one against um, Ms. Evanescent Angel, aka Bryla. Um, sh another little cup battle, I brought the same team. Uh, she brings a pretty good pretty good team. Taylor is a monster, let me tell you that. Um, just as a little uh, spoiler, I suppose. But uh, without further ado, let's jump on into this. Um, uh, let me know how you guys are liking these Little Cup battles. I'm enjoying them, so let me know with a comment or, you know, maybe a like or something like that. And, uh, yeah, it really helps out. So, she leads with her Poochiana. I send out my, uh, my lead, which is my Trico. Um, I know that I have Leech Seed and that this thing is a Dark type and probably carries Sucker Punch. So I go straight for the Leech Seed. Um, he goes for Bite. It does a pretty sizable chunk. Luckily for me... I know that I am going to be able to live a second one because of the Leech Seed, no problem. Um, I go straight for the Dragon Breath, kind of... I know I probably could have gone for the Stab Energy Ball, but I just went for the Dragon the dragon Breath, kind of hoping for Paralysis, maybe? Um, but either way, he goes for Bite. I know... Um, here I know that I have Leech Seed, he has Sucker Punch, she has Sucker Punch, I apologize. And I know I run the Synthesis on this, uh, just in case of Sucker Punch. And so this kind of works out. I get a pretty uh, healthy Trico out of this. Um, Sucker Punch fails. I get a good heal, and Leech Seed will take it out. So pretty good prediction play by me. Um, luckily for me that I do carry the Synthesis on this. I know not all sets run Synthesis Trico. Um, I have some other people actually getting me some uh, Little Cup pokes, so I should have a pretty expanded roster at some point soon. Um, here's... She sends out her Cyndaquil. I know I definitely don't want to take a fire move at all, um, so I just go straight out to my Squirtle to take whatever hit that she wants to go for. Um, she goes for the Heat Wave, and my Squirtle I don't think is defensive, but it's I think it's modest, but uh, takes it pretty well. I have Lefties on, uh, mostly because it's a decent idea. Uh, she switches out here, sends out her Joltik. I just I think I just wanted to try and burn whatever came out. Yeah, so I go for the skull, kind of hoping that it'll do a good chunk, and it does a pretty sizable chunk. Was kind of hoping to burn whatever came out, which uh, would have been nice, but I didn't get the burn. Um, she shows that she has Electro Web. I thought that we would see maybe a Thunder or a Thunderbolt or something. Um, however, it does lower my speed, uh, which I don't think turns out to be crucial, um, but it does end up my my skull does end up killing her off. We'll see as the thing goes out, as the rest of the game goes out that the uh, if the speed mattered at all. Um, but the second skull did uh, damage variation. She probably would have lived it if it didn't. Um, I don't believe Squirtle outspeeds Taylor, um, but Taylor goes for the Brave Bird and does take me out, uh, which is unfortunate. Brave Bird Taylor OP uh, crit definitely did not matter. Uh. Damage by recoil. I go out into my into my Chimchar, knowing that I do have the fake out to get some prior damage off, and then uh, Thunder Punch, of course. Um, but it outspeeds me and hits the Brave Bird. I'm kind of hoping that I can live, but I think that it's Choice Banded. I think it's Choice Banded Taylo, which ends up just like wrecking my face. I but I know that I have to at least attempt to kill it off using um, you just using recoil fodder. Um, it goes for another Brave Bird. It hits my Fennekin and unfortunately my Fennekin dies. That is my specially defensive Fennekin. Um, which is unfortunate. And then it ends up living with like no HP. So I send in my Riolu knowing that I have Bullet Punch so that's no problem. Uh, however she predicts that, goes for the quick attack and does actually a pretty like substantial amount of damage. That was a pretty good little bit of of a punch and then I realized there that obviously she was not choice banded she was just doing a ton of damage via the uh, the brave bird so note to self not underestimate Taylor. Uh here sends out the slow poke I am carrying the crunch crunch does about 60 65 percent something like that 70 percent maybe I get the defensive drop which is awesome uh, she goes for the toxic uh, I'm not sure maybe she's predicting a switch or something like that but uh, I do get toxic, which is not that big of a deal. I was just leaving Riolu in because I knew I had Crunch as well as I wanted to safe switch into my next poke. Um, but the Crunch does take out the slow poke, so that's awesome. 
Um, and I think she has two more pokes left. I think. We'll see. Uh, she sends out her Cyndaquil. I kind of thought I would outspeed it, but luckily for me, I dodged the heat wave, even though it didn't really matter. Um, I hit the Sky Uppercut. Does a pretty sizable chunk to the Cyndaquil. And uh, I died to Toxic Damage, so, and Life Orb Recoil. Toxic probably would have killed me anyway, but either way. Um, I send out my Trico, kind of assuming that I would outspeed this thing, so... I, f I think that this is Scarfed Cyndaquil with Heat Wave. Because I was kind of assuming that I would outspeed it, and I didn't. Um, but I send out my Metatite, and I'm pretty sure this is one-on-one. -on -one. And I thought for sure that Metatite would kill this thing. It would could live a hit, no problem. And Heat Wave just cleans me out. So definitely underestimated the Cyndaquil, and it just kind of like came back to haunt me. Um, which, uh, either way, it was a good game. Uh, I love these little cut battles. They're nice and short for me to narrate. Um, they're packed with action. Uh, not a lot of switching in and out, but that's fine. Uh, so hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, do your thing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.